But it's good to be with you. I'm from the state of Georgia. This is my first time in the Utah. <laughs> but I had to fly. And I bring this up because I'm one of those people, I'm afraid to fly. I just don't like to fly. I'm afraid to fly. I don't mind flying once a year just to catch up with my drinking and my praying. <laughs> There's no such thing as a safe airplane. At 30,000 feet, if something comes loose and falls off, it's pretty much over. It's not like you, you go, shh, 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 where's that noise coming from? <laughs> it could be a muffler, you know. <laughs> You know, even, even the airlines know they're not safe. That's how come they overly brag about the safety features. They seem to be especially proud of their flotation seat. <laughs> Every single flight, regardless, <laughs> regardless of the destination, they will explain the flotation seat. They got a video they showed now, where it's located, how to strap it on, how to hold on to it and float like <laughs> And that's in case they crash in the ocean. That sounds good, but there's no ocean between Georgia and Utah. <laughs> if you want to make me happy, show me a seat that's going to bounce out of a cornfield. <laughs> And this, I'm telling you the truth, I just, uh, I'm gonna tell you the real story of when I first realized how dangerous air travel can be. Not necessarily is, but can be. And this was decades ago. You know, if you've ever been to like, around the Bahamas, or the Caribbean islands, they have these planes that take the visitors and the tourists, tourists, <laughs> tourists, <laughs> from like one island to the next. It's a quick trip, like a 20 minute flight. By the time the plane gets to the proper attitude, it's time to start the descent. They call this island hopping, okay? Really, it only holds about 18 or 20 people. Sometimes it's got one or two propellers. But the point is, they have to know the weight of everything on board the aircraft before the plane can take off. And I had never been through that before. And the guy comes up to me, he's got a clipboard in his hand. He says, sir, how much do you weigh? I said, why do you need to know? He says, so we'll know how much fuel to put in. I said, fill it up. <laughs> I, I weigh 500 pounds, fill it up. <laughs> Would you hate to die in a plane crash because some fat woman lied about her weight? <laughs> And they'll do it too. <laughs> well, I'd just soon be dead as hell here how fast I am. <laughs> uh, and I, I have friends who are in the same business I'm in. For years, they have made fun of me because while I'm on the interstate doing an airplane, and I keep telling them, I say, look, just watch the news, there's always something, you know. Remember a few years ago, the plane that crashed into the Hudson River up in New York? They made a movie about that. We all know why I brought that plane down. Birds. <laughs> I 
I pause so you folks could think about this. I will repeat this. Birds. A jumbo jet. An airplane, an airplane, an airplane. <laughs> Not a kite. <laughs> Not a balloon. <laughs> an airplane. <laughs> Knocked out of the sky by some birds, it was birds. <laughs> Not a deer. <laughs> birds. <laughs> and this is an actual quote from the pilot. The pilot's name was Captain Sully. This is an actual quote. The moment I saw the birds coming, I knew there could be trouble. <laughs> the last time a bird hit my car, who do you think went down? <laughs> 